by this time of the year, our spring and early summer vegetable gardens are simply overflowing with all kinds of vegetables growing. We got tomatoes and cucumbers and squash and snap beans and eggplants and bell peppers all growing in our gardens now, blooming, hopefully setting lots of good uh, vegetables for you. And if you're not harvesting yet, you should be harvesting soon. One of the most common pests of gardens this time of the year is the leaf miner. And this is a tiny, tiny insect. It's a little fly, lays its eggs right on the leaf of the vegetable. The egg hatches and the tiny maggot is so small, it's actually able to feed in between the upper and lower surface of the leaf. Now, as it feeds on the leaf, it leaves behind a little squiggly trail. It eats the green tissue as it moves through the leaf, and that leaves behind this little whitish squiggly trail behind it. When you see these symptoms, it means you've got leaf miner issues. Now, minor damage like you see here on this tomato leaf is no big deal, doesn't affect the vegetable that much. But once you start seeing high levels of damage, and look at this melon leaf here and how much damage you see, look at all those trails, well, you should certainly step in and begin to do some sort of treatment. Now, there's a good organic insecticide that you can use for uh, controlling leaf miners. It's called Spinosad, and you'll find it in a wide variety of brands in addition to the one that you see here. So first off, look for something with Spinosad in it. Uh, a good chemical control is a systemic insecticide called imidacloprid. And this is simply applied as a drench at the base of the plant, gets absorbed into the plant, and protects the plant and keeps the leaf miners under control. So again, leaf miners are a very common problem on vegetables, not just here in early summer, but all through the summer season. Step in and use some insecticides if you need to. Keep a sharp eye out for them. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.